Well, hello, Bob Dendry here, and welcome back to Transport Fever 2, The Long Game. So, last episode, we started to uh, really move away from the hub-and-spoke freight system that we established way back when. It just wasn't really working. A lot of towns were being completely starved for goods. So we started to move away from that into a more um, sort of a hybrid, uh, really, system. We still do have our long trains uh, shifting cargo across the network, but... In terms of the trains going to our towns, there's just one train per town, so we're not um, sharing capacity, things like that. Now, I want to start off over here at our goods factory that we set up last week. So we aren't actually feeding the goods anywhere as of yet. Uh, we also don't have any chemicals coming in here as of yet, but that's another story. Um, so we need to decide where these are going to go. Now, originally, I was thinking we would shift them up to San Fran, etc., uh, but what I'm thinking we might actually do is shift them over to our hub over here at Lafayette. It's a fairly short connection and that should, I mean, we've got capacity in terms of boxcars coming back here. We don't have a whole lot of demand for boxcars to ship away from Lafayette. So it makes sense. It'll also potentially um, shift some goods into uh, Roseville and Lafayette as they both require them as well. Um, we do need to make a bit of an upgrade here. So this section of track running through to our hub is still single track. And this is quite heavily used. So I'm going to just quickly do a bit of a double track of this, um, which should hopefully um, boost the capacity a little bit and then will allow us also to feed in from um, our line here to deliver goods there. Now I'm hoping this will actually fit because it's no guarantee. Um, so will that fit there? It will, okay, it will. So they'll just remove the um, pillar. Not sure that's the most safe option, but hey, it worked for us. The bridge didn't fall down, so, you know, cool beans. Forgot how to lay track for a second there for some reason. Uh, once this train passes through here, we will do a little bit of realignment of how these are coming in as well. I don't think there will actually be any through movements on this once we switch over to our new way of transporting freight. Um, so I don't really have a problem with, uh, I guess, changing the main movements here. So we'll have them flow onto uh, this pair of tracks here. And then uh, we may as well just feed through all, to be honest. We don't really need to have a sort of a discriminator in terms of who can access what tracks, I don't think. We'll go ahead and feed that all through. And we'll just rationalize this connection here a little bit as well. We are going to need to leave a double slip here potentially actually what we'll need to do just for the moment a uh, temporary connection we'll need to make here uh, to allow this train to switch onto the right side of the track so we'll just wait for them to pass and then we will fix it we don't need a double slip there all right they've switched across so we can remove this or i thought we could oh yes okay uh, we just need a cross over here as well. And perfect. All right. Um, so we can just signal this up and we should be good to go now. Perfect. And then, yeah, we just need to get a connection um, from our line here. And I'm wondering what we could do. We could either just punch a track straight up here. Whoa, that is actually not going to work at all. Wow, that's quite dramatic, isn't it? We might struggle here. Um, okay, that's interesting. Hang on a sec. They're already shifting goods back into the network by taking them down here. Is that... That's probably okay, to be honest. Um... is they shift goods through here anyway. So actually, I'm going to leave it um, and it should be fine. I 
Okay, that's actually good. I'm I'm happy with that then. So there's a bit of building for nothing, a little bonus outtake or something. So um, now we're going to move on to the next stage of converting our network over to our um, individual trains for individual towns program, let's call it. Um, and I think I want to leverage the electrification we have sort of between or around these towns, Albuquerque, Chandler, Wichita Falls, and run electrified uh, trains running to those towns as well. That does mean we need to do a slight bit of upgrading. There's just this track between uh, sort of this Laredo Junction here uh, through to Wichita Junction that needs to be upgraded to electrified. It's actually not a heap of work at all um, because it's more or less already electrified anyway. Uh, and also, actually, we need to electrify through to Albuquerque as well. And I think we'll probably run um, in this direction. So we might need to change how the train is operating. Um, but this is, I think, the cheapest conversion we can make here. All right, so that should be all the electrification we need to um, convert all these trains over. So I'm going to start now doing that. We will need to set up new lines, of course. Uh, so we're going to need to set up a line running from Laredo North through to Albuquerque. And let's make sure we're selecting the right tracks. We are not at this point. Okay, and I don't think the platform at Laredo really matters that much, but it is selecting the right one, which is good. Now, Albuquerque, what do we need? Um, so we don't need any fuel over here. So that means that we can just run with uh, flat cars and box cars, which is a fairly easy thing we can do. We can pretty much just run half and half, I think. So we'll probably have one flat car, one box car train. Nice and easy. Running some more um, EP2s. All right, perfect. No complaints about the electrification either, which is good. Um, and in line with that, we will also get our Laredo to Chandler line and we're going to remove our stop at Albuquerque. So this train is now running just from Laredo to Chandler. Uh, these are quite old trains as well. These are, uh, I think, 460s. Um, so we will actually replace them as well. What does Chandler need? So Chandler needs uh, mostly fuel and goods, but also does need a few um, construction materials as well. So what we'll do here, I believe we'll have uh, fuel on one train with some reefers and then um, box cars and flat cars on the other one, which should take advantage of the speed differences of each of those um, types of Goods. No electric path. Okay, so we potentially didn't electrify all the way through to our terminus. That's an easy fix. Okay, perfect. Doesn't mean I think we need to redo that, uh, that change over though. That's probably not going to be saved for us. Oh, still no electric path. Okay, so we're missing a connection somewhere here. Uh, we just need to work out where that is. Not sure what's what's going wrong here. Um, so... We might see if we can change it now or if it's still going to misbehave. I got our GG one. I believe these are probably passenger as well, aren't they? Oh, they're streamlined as well. So no, we're not we're not going to use these for freight. I'm not going to be that crazy. Um, <laughs> okay, that works. So I'm not sure. Maybe it was uh, the fact that this guy was just running in the wrong direction. Perfect. All right, that's working now. Cool. 
Next, we have the Laredo to Oklahoma City Freight. This is a pretty simple one because it only stops at Wichita. Um, and that's like literally it. So we probably will switch this over to two trains, definitely. And um, yeah, we'll just see where we need to go from there. Uh, Wichita itself actually has a fairly varied um, demands. So what we'll do, we'll get a food and um, fuel on one and we'll get uh, construction materials and goods on the other. And that's going to be nice, simple, and it'll allow us to, once again, take advantage of the higher speeds we have on offer. So we're pulling off our stops at uh, Oklahoma. So it's a nice, simple one. Uh, we will remove one of these trains entirely. We will probably actually reuse our Pacific um, because it's, it's fairly new, uh, but we'll get rid of the other two. Yeah, uh, we're running into our no electric path issue. Where are you located right now? I don't even know why you're going in that direction. Um, I don't know why there's no electric path. There should definitely be one. Oh, it's because you're going to want to flip through there to turn around. Okay, that makes sense. I might just upgrade this just for the hell of it. For maintainability's sake, I guess. Okay, cool. So that's working now. Perfect. Now I'm looking at our chemicals that are waiting to go off to our goods factory at Spokane. So we've got 270 waiting there and we've got a train on the way which is full of 288. So potentially we could double this. I think we might duplicate the, uh, the line or duplicate the trains running on it. And just see how that goes because yeah, that is um, appears to be at least. The limiting factor right now how many chemicals we're getting in because we're getting a heap of silver in so yeah let's see how that goes now i'm over here at our la goods factory what i'm noticing we used to have an issue with chemicals not coming in we're now got plenty of chemicals but not enough steel i think our steel mill is still producing tons though um so 369 is waiting and how many can fit on one of the trains 196. This is a very old train as well. So we might do a few upgrades around um, our iron ore and steel chains um, to just boost the capacity and start trains moving, just running a little bit quicker. So this is going to be fairly easy replacement we can do here. Um, these are very old. They're double heading as well. Um, so obviously we're not really uh, powerful enough to pull the train in the first place. We might put some class 9000s to work. Um, once again, I'm aware these were not run on the East Coast, um, but we're having, I guess, some fun doing a bit of mixed stuff in here anyway. That's quite a significant increase in capacity as well. I think it's about 188 at the moment, up to 288. So we'll just do that one change at the moment um, and we can potentially get a second one on if there is demand. The iron ore chain is probably a, another chain that we should look at uh, replacing. These are quite old trains and they're probably holding up the network a bit as well. So um, these are going to be easy changes once again. Uh, we're just going to get rid of them and replace them. Probably class 9000s will go here as well um, because these are, you know, heavy raw material trains. And bam, some nice, huge, powerful iron ore trains to, to drive this network. I'm noticing a bit of slowdown um, relating to our silver ore line, so I might duplicate it. Um, nice, quick, simple one this should be. And that should allow the trains to flow through a bit quicker. We don't actually have any passing loop here at all. I think we're running three trains on this line now. So yeah, definitely not ideal. 
I believe there actually could be mutually blocking each other as well, potentially. Okay, that should be fixed. Yeah, we do. We are running three trains on it, so <laughs> definitely required. And in the interest of boosting some further cargo into our network, I think we do need more tools and machines. I believe we've only got... Uh, so we've got a machine factory here. We've got a tool factory here. Do we have any others? Um, I actually don't think we do. So we have some options. Um, we're going to need more steel, obviously. Um, and we've got a machine factory over here at San Francisco and a steel mill over here as well. So we've definitely got the opportunity to hook up some of the... Oh, we've got a large amount of steel we can be producing from this little section here um, and just shipping them over here. So we might go ahead and do that. Um, this is going to be quite a major connection, to be honest. Um, there's... If we hook all of these up, which I think I probably will, to be honest, there's going to be a lot of um, a lot of trains coming in and out of here. So I think I'm gonna actually pop this up to a eight track cargo station, which is uh, probably a bit silly, but I think we're gonna need it. For some reason that's not connecting. Oh, it's because, yeah, okay. That makes sense, we can fix that though. We just need to actually build a road connection. Like so. Now it's connected. Okay, so... Don't think we'll electrify this. Yes, it is a fairly short distance, but I don't think um, it's really going to work doing it like that. I don't think we'll go high speed either. So I think we might start connecting four tracks up here uh, in this direction, and then we'll see yeah, where we can go from there. This is a little bit, a little bit bendy. Um, that's not the straightest bit of track I've ever laid, but it's fine. It's okay. No complaints. Um, and then what we can actually probably do is utilize this um, track that we were actually going to use for goods, but we didn't end up using and actually breaking off and heading sort of directly along the, the coast here, which should allow us to get under the main line potentially um, and save a bit of running around. Under or over? I don't know. Actually, it's going to be easy to go under because we're going straight up uh, the so-called mountain here, aren't we? And let's see if we can get through and up. It's actually looking pretty bad. Oh no, actually we did manage. Cool. And yeah, we just need to hook up to these four mines and we should be good to go. Are we going to go with 320 meters? I think that will be fine. I think we should still be able to connect up. We are getting a bit of too much slope, actually. That's going up, is it? We might need to break off a little bit sooner. Yeah, perfect. That works. Will that work? No. We could potentially remedy that by breaking off like that and then making our connection afterwards. Let's see if that works. Perfect. Going to be a slow speed um, connection there. Then we will head off. Last out coal mine. This should be a fairly easy direct connection. No complaints there at all. Might relay this just a little bit. Well, that's a very long railway crossing. And no. Okay. I suspected that that probably wouldn't connect. 
So we will need to do a little bit of a crossover here and then bend back around. Still not too bad though. All right, we've got all our tracks set up for this major network expansion. Now I just need to signal everything and we'll be able to lay down our uh, lines and get moving. All right, there we go. So let's get some lines set up. I think I'm just going to do everything at once. Uh, we're not going to bother about sort of tearing um, the connection. We're just going to go ahead and smash it. Could not connect all stations though, so that's uh, interesting. And why is that? Because we didn't put I mean, actually, in fact, we didn't even finish building this um, part. We got a bit greedy. Because it automatically connected to completely the wrong platform is the answer, which is interesting. It's actually coal, not iron ore. My bad. So we've got all these new lines that we can now run. Uh, we've got a lot of slowdown going up the Laredo bank. Um, and why is that? It's just because trains are running slow. Could possibly duplicate that, but I don't think we're going to get a, uh, a bypass in here at all. It's a pretty um, uniform slope that our trains are going to be dealing with. All right, let's get some trains built. Um, we are going to be using some class 9000s because they are beautiful heavyweight trains. And yeah, we're basically just going to get eight of these um, higher capacity we can and just plop them on the lines. And this is like the single biggest investments in our network we've pretty much ever made. We are spending $347 million on trains. So this will be interesting to see how this works out. Okay, so yeah, we should have uh, some lovely, massive, powerful trains running on this network very soon. And I'm keen to see how that goes. All right, now we've got this line established to produce a bit more steel. What are we going to do with that steel? So first option right here, we've got a machine factory, you know, right there. Nice and easy connection we could make here. And that should be fine for the steel. We can ship that by road. We've got some decent vehicles now that will allow us to ship that fairly quickly. Uh, question is, where are we going to get silver from? So silver is a little bit more difficult to come by. We've got a silver mill over here at Peoria. Um, or we've got a silver ore mine here at Spokane and a mill at New York City. We could do that, or we could also use some of our existing um, silver we're producing over at Roseville. In fact, we could fairly easily probably make a connection across here to make it an even quicker way to get there. And I think actually that's what I'm going to do. I only literally just thought of that. Um, but I think that makes sense. We'll probably need to get some more silver ore coming in here um, as we're already transporting most of what we're producing um, and we're also running out as well. So there should be a nice and quick connection. I'm hoping um, we're going to need to either go over or under our existing line. Let's try and go over. That's probably going to be easier, I think. It doesn't look like we're actually... Oh, it looks like we might just get there. Okay, cool. And 
hopefully we can just pop over here nice and easy. I don't know what any of these mean. But we might go with this one. And should be able to pretty much just join up. We want to be going down though, or at least staying level. Too much slope, okay. Okay, um, that's not quite what we intended. We should be able to go down a bit quicker though. Nice. That's not great, actually. I don't like how ugly that one is. Hmm. Let's redo this a little bit. Not the prettiest connection, um, but it works. <laughs> you can't have it for much more than that, can you? All right, that was actually a lot simpler than I thought it would be. Uh, so we just need to connect up uh, to the machine factory over here. That's a nice simple one as well. We might go four tracks on this one if we can fit it in anyway. like we will ooh, just be able to fit in. Bit ugly, but it still works fine. And in terms of making our connection, we'll need to very, very slowly over a very long period of time lift up. Uh, to sit alongside our uh, main line. That is not a pretty connection at all. But it works. It's a connection. You can't hope for much more than that, can you? And someone's complaining. What have we got here? It's probably a mutual blocking, isn't it? Of course. And that, yeah, that's um, that's a mutual blocking, all right. Let's uh, flip you around, shall we? Where are we right now? We're at Fullerton. Okay. That probably makes the argument that we should have a double track for our... Uh, for our goods here, which I think makes sense, but we're sort of stuck a little bit. Um, we can't really expand anywhere. But there we go. We've got our connection there. So um, let's lift up our silver production by adding an additional train onto there. I think we've got three at the moment. We do. So we will um, duplicate our newer, faster one. And we'll need to get a new one set up from Roseville South over to our brand new Silver Mill station. No connection, of course. All right, let's get some silver moving. That took a long time because I made one of the signals one way and it did not occur to me to check that. If 
I think we might also upgrade um, our silver trains. We're going to get rid of these Atlantics. Maybe not get rid of them, but definitely store them. Um, and get, yeah, just more Pacifics running on it. In fact, what we can probably do with these guys is get them on our uh, Dayton to Roseville passenger line and replace the older locomotives we got running there. So that's a, a way we could definitely um, reuse what we're running there. So we'll get rid of these um, old ones here. Finally, it's time to give a bit of love to some of our more ignored lines, which are our passenger lines, obviously, with the entire um, freight network overhaul we've been doing. We've been really not paying a lot of attention to these passenger lines, which are really the backbone of what we do. So we've got some 460s running on our Cross River mainline, have been for a while, obviously very old. And we've got some, some actually really cool trains we could be doing. We've got, you know, Hudson's. We've even got the Super Hudson, some Streamliners, Hiawatha. So yeah, we've got we've got options here that we're really not paying any attention to. And I think we might pop on a Super Hudson to uh, pull our Cross River mainline trains from now on. Something a little bit special, I guess. <laughs> um, and potentially we could get some. Let's have a look because we don't actually. I don't think we have any NYC, unfortunately, um, on here. So this is going to be a bit weird. We're going to have a uh, NYC. Um, Locomotive pulling some Pennsylvania railroad cards. I will maybe before the next episode try and fix that and uh, get some more NYC cars on here. So for today's ride along, we are starting off here in Dayton, which it's, I think it's been a quite a while since we've started or done anything really here for our ride alongs. So we're going to be jumping aboard one of our brand new J3 Super Hudsons running on our Cross River main line. Um, yeah, hopefully this should be a really fast one and should be enjoyable and we don't get held up too much by any freight on the line. Hope you enjoy.
And here we are arriving back at Oklahoma. So we're going to hop off the train at this point. I didn't actually realize it changes onto the wrong side tracks at, uh, I think it was Glendale. So I'm going to quickly fix that up. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this ride along. Well, that is going to be about it in terms of what we've got time for in this episode. So I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you get a ding to your device the next time I post a video. You can find links to all my social media in the description. So please jump on there, like, follow, subscribe, do all that wonderful stuff. A big shout out to my Founders Club patrons, Caleb and Isaiah. Thank you so much for helping to make this content possible. I do have some homework before our next episode. I do need to... Uh, get some New York Central passenger cars to run on our Cross River main line. So hopefully we'll be back with some of those next episode. But until next time, I'm Bob Dendry. This is Transport Fever 2, The Long Game. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.